Right, so moving on to the stock market, here in Australia, I think it's going to be largely led by what happens in America, so it is no longer an isolated thing. You can't just think about the Australian stock market in isolation. We don't live in that world anymore. It is a geopolitically connected landscape that we are dealing with. Um, I look to people like Warren Buffett, Ray Dalio, and, and leading thinkers in these areas around these matters. My view is that the markets are overvalued right now. Um, uh, Buffett has moved into cash in a big way. He's going back into value, and I'm going to talk next about what Warren's doing, which is fascinating. He's going to talk about gold and Warren in the same sentence. Um, and Dalio has openly said, who's the largest hedge fund manager in the world, and this is a guy that is very, very hard for Ray Dalio to say anything because some of his biggest investors are Chinese um, uh, partners and he, he's everywhere. He's got exposure everywhere and partnerships everywhere. So it's very hard for him to speak about anything without putting a foot wrong. But these guys are, Ray Dalio said, the market is completely disconnected from reality. And Warren Buffett has been copping flack this year for staying in cash. And he said, the problem is equities are too expensive. So he's been buying, he, he made a big play in Japanese equities where he found value in the largest five trading companies in Japan. And recently his biggest investment was in Barrick Gold, which is a Canadian gold company. And I'm going to talk about that because people sitting at home going, I'm in gold, my cousin told me I should buy gold, so I've gone down and lined up and bought some bullion, that's great, but I want to talk about the difference between you and Warren Buffett. Not to embarrass you, but just to show you a different approach to what Warren's actually doing. And, and, and I'm, I think gold, obviously, is a good store of value, but I want to talk about the difference between the way Warren's doing it and most people. So I think markets are overvalued, once this election comes in, if Trump wins, we'll see a short rally. But sooner or later, the piper has got to be paid. These companies have to make profits. When you're investing in the stock market on a fundamentals basis, you're making a bet on the future earnings of companies. When I see companies like Snowflake, who listed in the US last week, especially with a name like Snowflake, they are trading on 134 times earnings, or, which is just like, what? <laughs> it's, it's insane. We're in a crazy, crazy time, and I think sometime next year we will see a big correction. That's my view. I personally want to drop in a comment to all of you at home right now who are thinking about what should I do with my money. Here's what I do, because people always ask me, Adam, what does your portfolio look like, right? I invest in two things, right? Two things. I invest in businesses. Right, because and, and when I say businesses, I invest, I've started businesses that I know something about. Right? So I started selling on Amazon as a side hustle. I want to I want to walk you through this and how I created my wealth, right? I started selling on Amazon as a side hustle. It became successful. As a result of five years of selling on Amazon, I then started to teach Amazon and created a course, which became a successful education business. I also knew lots of problems that Amazon sellers were facing from a data point of view. So I started a software company, which you're going to see a run of in a minute. And we have thousands of customers all over the world. And the software company is now worth millions and millions of dollars on its own, right? I started that company because I knew more about Amazon than most people at that time from a seller perspective. So I was solving problems that I had a competitive advantage at solving. I, with education, I knew more than the average person about Amazon, so I sold education, and I'm a great communicator, so I married my skill set with a need and made money doing that. Um, I invested in commercial real estate. Why? Because I'm a business person. I've been a business person for 25 years, and commercial property makes more sense to me than residential because I've rented it my whole life. Right now, I'm sitting inside of a warehouse that we converted into a sound studio. I've got storage that I rent. I've got another office building up in Mermaid Beach. I've got an office in Shanghai, another one in Los Angeles, another one in Sofia, um, uh, overseas in Europe. So I understand commercial property. I know what uh, commercial tenants look for. So now I own millions of dollars worth of commercial property and in total, across everything, have over 100 tenants. So I've built my wealth around what I know I have an advantage in. And so this, to me, is a fundamental lesson that you should take home, which is, you know, start a business. And when you're investing in things, invest where you have an advantage, right? Because if you've got to wake up in the morning and you are buying or selling an asset against a, a trader in New York or a trader in London 
he or her gets up and eats and breathes and breathes and, and, and lives the stock market and is getting all kinds of data that you're not and you're just talking to Daryl down at the local hairdressing salon in Wagga and that's your competitive advantage, you, my friend, are fucked. You are on the menu. You are not sitting at the table to eat. You are the one being carved up in the long term. So that is my opinion. Now, there are some of you here that actually are experts in the market and you spend the time and you do the work. But if you are investing based on 10 blog posts, a conspiracy theory and three, three conversations with your friends over dinner with a wine, that is not going to bode well for you in the long term. So what I'm getting at here, guys, is where, where my advice to everybody watching this is make bets in things that you know to start with, where you have a competitive advantage. If you enjoyed that video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when we have new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.